Well, as the old Aerosmith song says, every time I look in the mirror, all these lines in my face are getting clearer. Hi, I'm Scott Newell. As we get older, one of the ways age takes its toll is on our skin. Yes, I have fond memories of many days lying out in the sun on the shores of Lake Erie, tanning myself to perfection. Any blemishes I had would soon be covered up by that golden brown, beautiful tan. But back to reality. Sun not only causes your skin to lose its elasticity and tightness, it can also cause some of your skin cells to grow abnormally. That is called skin cancer, and there are many different kinds. Basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, and melanoma are just a few. Skin cancer can develop at any time, and you should check your own skin every month because catching it early improves the chances of successfully treating it. It's easy. An ideal spot is a well-lit room with a full-length mirror. Remember, where there are moles, freckles, and other marks, so that you can see if anything looks different the next time you check. Another thing to consider is visiting a dermatologist once a year for a professional skin exam. If cancer is found, the treatment will be customized to your situation. Doctors may recommend something called Mohs microsurgery, especially if the lesion is in a sensitive area like your nose, lip, eyelid, or finger. Let me give you an idea of how Mohs works by using this potato right here. After your skin is numbed, the surgeon will use a scalpel to remove thin layers of skin, kind of like peeling this potato, just a thin layer like that. Now, after each layer is taken off, someone else will examine it under a microscope for cancerous cells. When the layers no longer show tumor cells, the cancer has been removed. The advantage of Mohs is that it spares the maximum amount of healthy surrounding tissue. Many procedures don't require any reconstructive surgery, but if yours does, it can be done immediately after the Mohs surgery. In some cases, you may need a skin graft where they'll take a patch of skin from somewhere else to restore your appearance. The best thing, of course, is to minimize your chances of getting skin cancer. Start by protecting your skin from the sun with sunblock and UV protective clothing. And don't forget to take advantage of staying in the shade. And if you're still fixated on that tan, try a bronzer. Just spread a little bit on, give it a little while, and in no time at all, you'll have the look without the risk. Wish I'd known that when I was younger.